Hi, uh, Alex here from Messy Painting. Uh, today I'm just gonna, it's my first Necron video, my first Warhammer video on YouTube. Um, I'm just gonna talk about my first ever painted Necron unit. It's a 20 man squad of warriors. And this is the color scheme I've finally chosen. The one you're seeing here is one of eight or so who I painted first. And uh, well, they're not very well painted, certainly not as well as the others. Uh, I'm not a very good painter myself. This is the first model I ever painted. Um, it's just a standard warrior. I've exchanged the green rod for a solid one from the Immortals kit and painted the dots blue. Now, you might notice that the dots are kind of a bit shoddy, they're not very round, for example. The reason for that is, well, I'm not a very good painter, but also, I painted, on these eight guys, I painted the weapons slightly differently. I didn't like it. Painted over them all in black. By that point, the paint was so thick that the, de <laughs> that the detail on the uh, shafts of the guns is more or less completely obscured, so... Uh, it was pretty hard to paint the dots on. So these guys aren't the best, these eight guys, but the other ones who I haven't put the rods in yet are hopefully slightly better painted. So my colour scheme, I haven't gone for the classic silver monochrome. I don't really like it, not very imaginative. So instead, I uh, the main glow colour isn't green it's actually blue which I've seen a few other people do I've also seen other people do red glow necrons but I just like these blue ones best so the colors uh, the colors as it were I used on these guys this guy is um blue the bright blue is um ice blue it's not one of the new citadel colors it's one of the old ones older ones uh, then it's new colour called Balthazar Gold uh, is the kind of darkish bronze highlighted with and uh, dry brushed with Hashut Copper is a layer paint and then for the shoulder pads and uh, the other dark blue bits I've um, gone in with uh, I think it was well for the, the original guys I used Necron Abyss which is an older paint but I kind of ran out of that and the closest colour I could find is Cantor Blue. It's a tiny bit lighter but it does the trick alright. I haven't varnished these guys yet. So um, yeah, and the silver bits are the old colour Chain Mail. I haven't got another silver to kind of highlight them with but oh well. I washed it all over apart from the blue bits with um, Agrax Earthshade. It's a new equivalent of a wash. Um, this is actually a, an exception with this guy, his rune on his chest, the, the kind of glyph, the anchor of the triarch, should be, triarch, triarch, I'm not sure how you pronounce that, should be um, highlighted with the ice blue. Um, so some of them are more done than others, all the bases were done in um, Dawnstone, it's a new colour, new layer, and just bits of foam were put on the bases, they look a bit like I don't know if you can see that, they look a bit like sort of coral or like lava stone or something. I've dry brushed them in chain mail as well just to tie them in with the army so they look a bit metallic like a meteorite and there's a band around the uh, base in the copper colour which kind of just binds the whole look together. So as I said before I'm not a very good painter. It's a view uh, my camera unfortunately can't actually focus while the video <laughs> is recording so um, sorry about that but I'll just give you a look at these guys I'll probably put some still photos at the end anyway which should be a bit better so this is the original painted guys see his chest glyph is in blue I did the piping slightly different on that as well all the kind of ringed pipes are done in silver and all the um, uh, smooth pipes are done in blue. Um, it's the, also the pipes under the rib cage are done in silver as well. I'm hoping to continue that theme. I've got some immortals planned. I've, I'm almost, sorry, finger in the way, almost finished uh, my Overlord. Also, the, um, you can see the 
kind of color bonus in silver uh, with some of the more regal and noble ones the whole kind of um, collar bit you know how the overlords sort of have uh, a kind of color equivalent of a collar I suppose that'll be in silver so I know it's slightly out of focus but that's how many guys there are uh, you can't really see that at all but the blue stands out quite well which I like I've also painted the very ends of the guns in blue what I actually did there was I filled the entire um, end bit in with blue and it kind of sunk in the middle you can't really see that but it sort of looks as if you know it's dragging backwards a bit like a wormhole or something not really sure why I did that <laughs> but and also the sort of don't know what you call it the sort of chamber um, next to where his hand is it's also painted in blue so all in all I'm oh one more thing one more thing sorry yeah stand up very easy now basically when I used to do painting I um I uh, put them under a lamp to make them dry a bit better I don't do that anymore because I've learnt this guy's whole leg twisted out of shape because it got really melted in fact his other legs you might be able to see a sort of slightly out of shape and uh, this leg just melted out of shape completely so I had to chop it off and since I'm not really any good at sculpting with green stuff um, what I've sort of done is I've sort of given a, a peg leg made of a bit of wiring it's just uh, copper wire with um, uh, plastic around the outside chopped off at both ends and it's just kind of wrapped around and since it's roughly the same color as the copper uh, it actually suits him quite well I've painted the kind of shaft the plastic shaft of the wire and uh, the, uh, the Nacron Abyss yeah so overall I'm pretty happy with this unit uh, just remember they're my first ever unit painted basically so take pity on me <laughs> if you think they're not very good um, as always I greatly appreciate some tips in the comment section remember we're only beginners so you're probably more advanced than us if you are then please give some tips on how to improve and if you're not more advanced than us then follow our progress and uh, you might learn some ways to improve your own work either way subscribe like and comment please and this is Alex from Messy Painting signing off.